If you haven't finished the latest story quest in 2.5, I suggest you to finish it first. Because this video will contain a story spoilers and also a bunch of simple thought that I have to say about the story quest. Some dialogue I took is from the 2.5 story quest, any statement, assumption, nor speculation in this video is based from my humble opinion and not referring as a leak or an official future story. This video is made for entertainment purpose and also open for a discussion if you like to share your thought in the box below. That we call commentary section. In this story quest, Traveler, Payman N.A. will be following the Rifthound's trace. And they will encounter some sort of ghost from the past, 500 years ago like memory from the past that leaked from the damaged sacred Sakura's root. While investigating the Rifthound's attack, A didn't feeling well as the Shogun is turning against A and trying to prevent A from using her body. After finish the investigation, A dueled the Shogun inside Makoto's plane of consciousness. Let's just call it Makoto's domain for simplicity. Then she sent Traveler back to Inazuma to report to Yamiko. After getting the help from Yamiko, Traveler managed to go back to where A and the Shogun is. His appearance. Fate the Shogun decide to do the final duel after hundreds years of never-ending battle inside the domain. After defeating the Shogun, Makoto's last consciousness that sealed inside Muso is and emerged and giving A the seed that she somehow got from Mr. Th. Then A planted inside the domain which is just below the Narakami shrine. The seed grew into a tree in an instant, and then Makoto bid her final farewell to her dear sister. But Rift Hounds attacking the sacred Sakura. <sighs> It brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. Yes. Five hundred years ago, a great catastrophe befell Inazuma. Everything was engulfed in a pitch-black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. Countless lives were lost, and this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. I will not be talking about the ghost or memory from the past. I will be covering that in another video. Anyway, in this quest, specifically when Traveler and Aid down the memory lane, all the NPC repeatedly mentioning about engulfing darkness. And while crafting the script for this video, it reminded me to my favorite poem, which is engulfing lightning. And the Three Realms Gateway event also have engulfing darkness as their main issue. This could mean that the Rifthounds were presented during the Cataclysm 500 years ago. Rifthound in game description is read as the following. Rifthounds are monsters from the abyss and are said to be able to erode the boundaries of the world. They were created by the alchemist gold. They were the advance guard for the other monsters that were behind them. What kind of monster they were guarding? What kind of malicious entity that the sacred Sakura and her A fraught 500 years ago? Still not convinced that Rifthound is guarding something or could be the sign of another powerful monster that are coming after their appearance? Hear this out. The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil. And the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth, and then call in even more powerful beasts. In game, there are no clear explanation who and commander control the Rift Hounds, because, as we know it, the developer loves being cryptic with the lore. But what we know for sure is that the Rift Hounds are categorized as the creatures from the Abyss. The Wolf Lord has no name, for it was but one of Gold's unintentional creations, and that is precisely it. It is obsessed with invading worlds that do not belong to it and making a name for itself. If the Abyss have the control over them, this could mean that this is our second major encounter with the Abyss after we will be reunited event. Their attack to the sacred Sakura and the event in Inkanamiya happened to be almost in the same time. While Traveler helping A and Joe must have already built the towers that spread darkness in Inkanamiya. It wouldn't be a coincidence that these two events happen almost in the same time. Could this mean that the Abyss is currently gathering power to once again engulf Inazuma with darkness? Also, are these current issues have anything to do with the Abyss sibling? My take is, if we encounter a major story with the Abyss in Sumeru, this will indicate that the developer starting to reveal the main plot of Genshin Impact, and the chance for the Traveler to meet their twin is likely higher than before. Or if they're not going to meet in a couple patch ahead, I'm pretty sure we will see more to what is the Abyss's plan. And or what is the role of the Abyss sibling, is the twin the leader of the Abyss or is working together with somebody else. In the game description, Golden Wolf Lord can dissolve space to summon its followers which I assume is the smaller Rifthound's pack. The smaller Rifthound classify as two different type. Rockfin Rifthound and Rockfin Rifthound Whelp. 
Both have the same description, the capability to eroding the boundaries of the world. This could mean they can tear up space. And went through it, or maybe the correct thing to assume is their attack that went through it. This only makes sense, since shielded character will still be affected from their attack. Are the Abyss sent them? Why are the Abyss sent them to attack the Sacred Sakura? Did the Wolf Lord try to unleash or summon something that is suppressed by the Sacred Sakura's power? To be honest, it is not a really good strategy to chop that large tree down with only a pax of rock found Rifthound. While Linazuma is still under the protection of the Dry Commissions and Raiden A. Maybe they aren't aware that the Arkan herself will attend to the situation. Since A already confirmed that if it were the puppet, she will leave it to the Tri Commissions to handle. But the Tri Commissions is not that weak to think if the Shogun won't take this matter personally. And in the game description of the Golden Wolf Lord, it is not mindless and or. Just like an ordinary wild animals alike. It took a retreat to deserted island where no human and no protector after defeated on its previous invasion. And mentioned that it is preparing for its next move. From this detail, I draw a conclusion that it is indeed an intelligence creature. Another reason to why the Rifthounds attacked the Sacred Sakura could be an attempt to invade. On the Rockfin Rifthound description, it says they do display certain biological behaviors similar to those of real wolves. Perhaps they feel jealousy towards these there. Next of kin, and dream of replacing them someday. Could this mean that they're thinking about replacing the foxes? They belong to the same taxonomy family, but they're no wolves. The attack on the Sacred Sakura doesn't deal a significant casualties and bring any major issues in this chapter. But we may uncover more in the future. Whether it's a direct command from the Abyss or the Wolf Lord nor Rifthound's intention to invade. There will always be more than just what in the surface as the story grow and as many mysteries unfolded. My apologize if I left many question and theory in this video. I can't help but doing it anyway. Well then thank you for sticking till the end, have a good day, and until the next one.